Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Could you tell, could you tell us a little about your early coaching career? Well, I'm a little farm boy from Nebraska. Went to a little one-room schoolhouse for eight years. Got the measles on a Friday at the end of a month and missed Friday and all of the next week. And that's the only school I ever missed in those eight years. Wasn't supposed to go to high school, but fortunately I ended up there. I wasn't supposed to go to college, but I ended up there. And where did you go to college? Wayne, Nebraska State Teachers College, just Wayne State College today. Played football and uh, uh, I lettered four years. I was captain of the team my senior year and I was all conference my junior and senior year playing center and probably one of the real good high school teams that they have in the country today if they played us as we were that probably would kill us but it was fun and we enjoyed it oh then i went back to school and finished up and i coached the athletics at the college high school football in the fall basketball in the winter track in the spring so you taught everything and then you coached everything oh yeah i taught and coached and uh, track was good and then uncle sam took over for 38 months and i went all over the country and what did you do during the war then? I was a meteorologist. I went overseas first, landed in Gorick, Scotland, down in London, Liverpool, Canadian ship out in the Atlantic, in the Mediterranean, to uh, uh, Oran, North Africa, and then out to Ujda. Took a test for forecasting school, so I'd been teaching math and science, so uh, if I couldn't pass that test, I couldn't pass anything. Well, weather fit right in then, didn't it? And then I uh, back to to Oran, and there were ten of us weathermen in charge of 300 Italian prisoners on the way back to the states. And no problem at all. They were happy to go to the states. And they didn't want to fight. We weren't interested in fighting. So, and then I was to school, and finally back to Italy, and then back to the states. And I get out of the service on on a Friday. I had two job applications the next day, and Sunday I decided which one to take. Monday I spent getting organized, getting a place to live, and I was teaching on Tuesday. And where would that be that you were that teaching? Main Township High School, Park Ridge, Des Plaines, Illinois. And I was there five years, and I ended up out at Michigan, at See. Birmingham Sea Home. Um, uh, at uh, Cross-country, we won 95 out of 112 meets. We uh, made it the state meet 12 out of 13 years. We never placed any lower than seventh. We won it twice and were runner-up twice, and our best run was 1, 2, 11, 13, 14, 16, and 25. And uh, the track team won 94 out of 100 dual meets. Uh, we had a 76 league dual meet victories in a row, and I retired from coaching in '67, and uh, then I started officiating and and a lot of the other stuff. Uh, well, I, I managed the Eastern Michigan University here on relays for about 21 years. I I uh, had a, worked a, or helped direct a uh, uh, cross country camp at Wolverine, Michigan, for about 21 years and managed the all Oakland County cross country championships for 22 years and, and been, been starting and traveling all over. You travel all over the country, but there's one important question I want to make sure we get the answer to. What makes a good coach? Well, he's, he's got to have some enthusiasm and he's got to read and study and uh, talk to people and find out all you can find out and steal all the good things from the other coaches that you can and that you can use and forget the things that you don't like and you've got to motivate your kids and you know work with them and uh, you know the only place that success comes before work is in the dictionary <laughs> and uh, you know uh, all of us should uh, this isn't my saying but we should all learn to do the things that need to be done when they should be done, whether we like to do it or not. And 
you know, if you're going to be good, you got to come to practice every day and and. Uh, you got to get back to this officiating here. Okay, okay. Well, we'll catch up with you a little bit more later, but we've got a good start on this. Well, okay. Well, thank you. Right. <laughs>